2022 was an impressive year for the arts from groundbreaking performers taking over Broadway to beloved shows coming back after a long pandemic hiatus. Yeah, it sure was. Craig Treadway has a look at the city's biggest moments in the artistic world. Take a look. In a comeback year for New York City and the region, City Arts on PIX11 was on the move. One feature, Move NYC, a local nonprofit looking to break down barriers in the dance world in hopes of making the industry more reflective of the world we live in. We decided in 2015 that it was time to come back to our community and give back and create a pathway for young dancers of color to reach all of their incredible dreams. 2022 also saw the return of Broadway in Bryant Park following a pandemic hiatus. A taste of numerous award-winning shows presented under the summer heat to fans who couldn't wait for their Broadway thirst to be quenched. I'm having a great time. The minute I heard them sing, I just got like a whole bunch of goosebumps. This was the first in a four-week series presented by Light FM and iHeart Radio Broadway. And speaking of Broadway, City Arts was there for its star-studded comeback. From this, per this performance at Wooten High School in Maryland to the role of a lifetime as Michael Jackson in his Tony Award winning performance as Michael Jackson in MJ the Musical, Miles Frost sat with City Arts before his win to talk about leaving it all on the stage night after night. After I approach every night, like it's new because it's, it's, it keeps it fun. You know, it's, it's, it's a new audience. So I have to re, I have to re present myself every time. And speaking of the Tonys, it celebrated its 75th year in outstanding fashion, celebrating the best on Broadway and most of all, its triumphant return. When we opened the season in September, we didn't know that we would be able to be here and celebrate as we are today. Live theater is the, is the thing I miss the most during COVID, hands down. But being on stage, but in some ways even more being in the audience. The audience is laughing so hard that it's just, it's kind of rejuvenating. It's not just like, you're not just like putting on energy, but you're actually getting energy back from the audience. You get back into the routine, you put your shoes back on, and you keep going. Hello, gorgeous. And Broadway bringing back classics like Funny Girl and... Come on, Joseph. Oh, you know this one. Oh, Lord, girl, hold up. August Wilson's Piano Lessons, starring, among others, Samuel L. Jackson and making his Broadway debut, John David Washington. It takes a second or so to, to get your, you know, stage legs back under you. It's a dream come true. I, I, I find myself, while I'm in scenes in rehearsal with both he and, and Michael Potts, you know, who I, I, I hold very high. And I stop myself sometimes, sometimes I'm like, I can't believe I'm in the scene with these guys. Like, it's happening right now. Following the citywide shutdown, the return of Smoke Jazz Club was music to the ears of jazz fans. The first artist to open this year, 87-year-old saxophone legend George Coleman, who played at the club's debut back in 1999. We've been waiting for this for, for a very long time, and it's uh, as the as the months uh, went on, it was just uh, we couldn't wait. It, it was a great feeling to get the doors open. The relief, replacing the anxiety of wondering if the pandemic might have shut them down for good, something feared by many New York businesses during this citywide health emergency. There was so much uncertainty. Um, we thought we'd be open again in two weeks, and obviously that wasn't the case. Also making a triumphant return in 2022, Jazz at Lincoln Center. The Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra, led by artistic director Wynton Marsalis at Frederick P. Rose Hall after the curtain closed for almost two years due to the pandemic. We got to chase Andy Warhol through his old haunts in the village, Astor Place, and NoHo. A unique walking theater production put on by the Bated Breath Theater Company. You have these amazing dances and scenes that play out on the streets of New York, but then you also have New York itself as a character. And you think, wait, is that part of the performance? The Blue Note Jazz Fest kicked off its month-long summer jazz fest with Grammy Award winner Robert Glasper, who took time during a sound check in Washington Square Park 
somewhat a return to his old roots. My dorm, when I first moved to New York in 1997, my dorm was two blocks away. So I, I really grew up in this area like my, as a young man. What a thrill it was to sit down with the late show with Stephen Colbert's musical director, Jean Baptiste, right after he won five Grammys this year. Baptiste stepping down as band director for Colbert after seven years, but throwing himself full swing into New York's music scene, premiering his American Symphony at Carnegie Hall. There's something special about being in New York that's really, you know, you go to LA, you go to London, you go to all these places around the world. And when you land back in New York, mm -hmm. it's just a vibrance, it's yes. excitement, it's unparalleled. That's it, that ever. <laughs> City Arts on PIX11, celebrating New York's comeback in 2022 and looking forward to the staging of a prosperous new year. Craig Treadway, PIX11 News.